Milling in Dwarf Fortress can often lead to frustration. It's hard to make sure your dwarves are milling all of your dimple cups while leaving some of your cave wheat to be brewed. Vice versa, you might have dwarven beer flowing out of your ears, but don't want to keep manually telling your dwarves to mill cave wheat in a dwarven flour. This guide aims to show one method of automating your milling industry to mill dyes all the time, only mill grain if you have enough booze, and most importantly, avoid cancellation spam. For this guide, I'll also assume you already know how to build mills, use the manager, and some stockpile basics, so feel free to brush up on those topics if you need to. First things first, you'll need one mill per item you're milling. In my case, I have rice, cave wheat, sweet pods, dimple cups, single grain wheat, teff, and hide root. That's seven items, so I'll need seven mills. If you have a lot of mills like I do, I would also recommend naming them all to keep them clear and organized. Next, you'll need to create one tile stockpile for each of those plants. These stockpiles should only allow one good each. You'll also need to create a larger stockpile allowing only empty bags. The exact size of this stockpile doesn't matter too much, but I would recommend it being at least twice as large as the number of mills you have. Next, set your one by one stockpiles to give to your individual mills. You're only going to want one stockpile per one mill. After that, make sure to set your empty bag stockpile to give to all of your mills. These are all the stockpile links you need to make this a functional setup, but you need to add more links depending on how you want to integrate this with your existing food and drink industry. The flowchart on screen shows my setup and where each product goes, but your fortress needs may differ. Lastly, now it's time to set up work orders. The trick here is to set up the work orders within the mill itself, instead of going through the manager menu. I typically set these up to mill one item at a time, and then we'll set them to uh, operate daily. Inside the work order, we want to add a couple conditions. First, we want to check to see if we have any empty bags available. I typically set this to about five. You may need to add more if you're going to be milling a lot or if you have a very active glassmaking industry. Next, you'll want to check if you have any millable, unrotten plants, but we are going to change the material here to be the material that the mill will be processing. In this case, it's going to be rice. I also like to set these at about five. Uh, again, your fortress needs may vary. This number can go up and down depending on what you need. If you're setting up a die like uh, dimple cups or hydrid, for example, you can stop here and you're good to go. However, if you're setting up grains like we are here, we do need to add one more condition. So we want to change the type to drinks and we want to change the material to whatever product we are trying to mill. So in this case, we are trying to mill rice again. So we are going to choose rice beer this time. Now it is worth noting that all of the grains will be in this order. So it'll be rice beer, it'll be teff beer, etc., etc. However, cave wheat and sweet pods will be different. Uh, both of those are turned into Dwarven beer and Dwarven rum, respectively. Again, I like to keep about five around at any time. You may want more or less depending on your fort. This last condition is important because it makes sure we only start milling our rice if we have enough rice beer for our dwarves to drink. Once you get the work orders set up on all of your mills, you should be good to go. Fully automatic milling that prioritizes booze and eliminates unnecessary cancellation spam. I hope you enjoyed this guide. Please leave a like and drop a comment if you have anything else you want covered.